as you can see, track with uh, slightly curtailed there as they bow their way through, literally. Let's look at the lap sheet now. We've got eight laps gone. It's still 129, 197, in fact, has, uh, has come up into second place. Number 20, I think, is next. We've got 323, and then 247. That's the place. Then I think it's 74, Chris Oliver. But I've got a feeling our leader is jammed in behind that big van that... The green one is in there in the pile-up with that overturned car, and he's just got himself out. There he is. There's 129. Then there's Mick Cochran. Former stock car English champion, in fact, who's uh, on over to Bangor at the moment. Just about to give 473. Adrian Tillman from Eastport, the big depot. Doesn't have to. Ah, well, he's uh, not satisfied with the available track width. He wants to try and climb over as well. But I don't think he's going to go an awful lot further. I think that's, uh, that's car number 342. Ted Killing back in fact. Number 70 sitting sideways across the track. There's a bit sick, Gerald Griffiths. Oh, and what? 134 just casually strolling around there, Terry Barton. Golden rule is to get out of your car and get over that fence as fast as you can go, believe it. One, two, nine is still there. Ten laps have gone. Three, two, three, in fact, has gone into the leader. In that last melee, 129 got himself into problem. There's Jeff Roberts, in fact, has now taken up the lead. Jeff Roberts from Farm in 3 2 3. Another quick case of abandoned ship there. Oh, I don't know, he's got the best view in the house there, and what's more, he hasn't paid for it. There's 123, 129, he's dropped back now. 323, in fact, uh, is the leader. 129 is second, 20 is third, then 87. So if you see them go crashing through, you'll know where we are. We've got uh, 11 laps gone now in this, uh, in this event, 20 laps for this. There's, there's 285, he's just got himself by the Paul Merritt. Now you can probably see in the windscreen there, there is a bucket hanging. Now, when we started the race, that bucket was full of water. And as I'm sure you will have naturally appreciate, all delivery drivers have an obligation to treat their loads very carefully and uh, dri drive to the best of their ability without damaging their loads. So, it just to persuade them to drive carefully, as you would expect in an event like this, Every car has had a bucket full of water fitted, and when we get the first six cars over the line, there's an extra little prize for the driver who's still got the most water in his bucket. But the way they're going, I don't think there's going to be much water in any of them. There's Roger Wilco in number 20. He was in about second place, but he's a long way back now. And with 13 laps gone, it's still car number 323. There he is, Jeff Roberts. And in that car, looking relatively unbattered at the moment. It can be said for 285 when he hits the, uh, the fence there. Oh, he's got no badge on the door. Well, that's the way to deal with the leader. He's 559, was determined to have a go. Barry Taylor. He's okay now, he's clear. Really, apart from a bit of damage to that front near side wing, that car doesn't look as if he's been in the wars too much. Maybe he's managed to find his way through the gap. Well clear at the moment, 129 is second, 114 is third, that's the order at the moment. So it's 323, the leader, Jeff Roberts, 129, Mick Conlon is second. And the third place, I think, is going to be 114, that's Mick Davis. There's 87, in fact, uh, who was a leader earlier on, he's dropped back. Oh, Wallop, 329, 4, 242, but fair old Wallop there, that can't make through. But it's 323. There's four more laps to go, and there's 129, who's still holding second place, but he's some little way back now. He's going to have to put on quite a spurt in that uh, remains of that Anglia van. You can see the track there, a little bit of a chicane there. Still, if you can't go around it, go through them. Three more to go. Still 323, there he is, that's the leader, beating away, minding his own business, his bucket swinging away merrily by his head. All he's got to do is to get past the 242 car of Morris Jenkins, if Morris is going to give him any aggravation. Oh, he tried, he tried, he had a little go, but put his right hand down as uh, 323 went by, hoping to catch the back end, but he wasn't quite quick enough. We've got plenty of damage in there, all stuff well in there, 197, he was uh, in a place earlier on, there's the leader getting himself in a little bit of bother, 323 in a little bit of bother now, is he going to get poked in that way? Yes he has! Straight into that parked car, and now it's still going, it is still going though. Well that's
remarkable. He got a pretty hard whack on the front end of that, but he's still going. 129 is still second, 87 is third, and 225 is in fourth place now, and there's not very far to go. 129, the second place, though, is uh, nearly half a lap behind, so as long as, in fact, 323 can just keep himself out of too much trouble, he can afford a little spin out or a little bit of aggravation, because he's got half a lap in hand. Here he is, the Jeff Roberts. Looks from Farnham in Surrey. Uh, Mark stayed with that car. It looks like he's back, almost drive back down in that one. 14 has a little nibble at the back end. Uh, Dave Pitini from Tooting. Just can't get him round, and he's looking set now to take the flag. The checkered flag is at the ready. He's only got to negotiate these last few cars. He finds a little gap, squeezes his way through, and he's over the line to take the flag. A great win in a hectic race. He's done jolly well. Oh, and a spectacular pirouette just finished the whole thing off. 323 then. That's the winner, Jeff Roberts. Our second place man is 129. And in the... And he's going to have to come to terms who's out.